And good evening, everyone, or good day, depending on when and where you are watching this. I'm Ryan, the Wine Guy, and it's another edition of The Wine Review. Today, I take you all the way to Portugal, where, no, I'm not doing a port. I'm just doing a red table Portuguese wine. Flor de Castro. It is a 2012 out of the Douro region. This is what it looks like. And as I mentioned, it's a wine of Portugal. Red blend coming in at 14% alcohol by volume. Imported by Broadbent Selections, Inc. And you are looking at around, I would say, $12 a bottle. Maybe cheaper, maybe a few more dollars expensive, you know, depending on where you're at. But I would say average 11 or 12 It says, Flor de Crosto Duro. Red is sourced from one of Dural Valley's most famous producers. This fresh, young, medium bodied wine shows rich berry fruit flavors with hints of spice and a soft, round finish. Enjoy. There are three types of grapes that make this up. I am totally going to butcher them, but when I put this on my YouTube page, I'll make sure I post it to my Facebook as well. And in the description, I will make sure I put down these three grapes. 40% Tinta Rores. 30% Toriga Franca. And 30% Toriga Nacional. Whatever, like I said, I'll I'll post them. Um, usually don't do Portugal wine. In fact, this is my first one in a while. This may actually be my first one. So I'm not quite familiar with the Portuguese wines or the Portugal area. Hopefully I will learn some as I experience and try new wines. Anyway, um can't really see it um i wish i had better lighting um one of these days i w hopefully will but you know just i just do this for fun right now but i'd like to share it with you all um it is relatively dark in the glass um kind of got a little bit red on the rim um but, but overall it looks to be like a deep a deep uh, dark red throughout the whole glass so this does seem to be like a deep wine it's not light by any means uh, on the nose Wow uh, I've actually had this open now for about half an hour um, maybe 45 minutes which I, I believe it needs to um, be open for a bit um, Really getting some cherry on the nose. Some plum. Even a little bit of blackberry. Light earth scent. Ah. Uh, Definitely get some spices on there. Uh, maybe like a little bit of smoke or leather. Um, but those uh, those dark berries are now starting to really come out. Like that blackberry. Then there is also that red berry, red berry, red. Maybe like a crushed, 
crushed red berries. Like dried crushed red berries. All right, let's see what it's doing on the palette. Oh, wow, that's definitely that's definitely a wine you want to swirl around for a bit. Um, oh man, whew! I mean, if, if if you like big wines, this one's for you. Uh, it says medium bodied, but I would almost say this is leading towards medium plus to maybe full minus. Um, Wow, you definitely get um, definitely get that cherry in there, but I, I'm also getting quite a bit of plumminess in there, um, along with a little bit of hints of blackberry, maybe a little bit of currant. Definitely a good undertone of spice in there. The spice kind of comes out. It's not harsh by any means, but it's definitely there. It definitely has a grip to it. Um, there's definitely maybe a little bit of jam in there as well. Um, very good overall. Uh, but as I mentioned, if I would have done this bottle straight from the open, I don't think I would have been able to really pick up on those scents on the nose because I did. And I was like, you know what, I want to let this open up a little bit before I do my review. Which is usually what I usually do anyway. Um, I usually do like to at least have an idea of what I'm going into um, before I review a wine. So maybe I just usually take a, 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 a sniff art and a sip and then I go right into the review. But this one I'm glad I decided to wait. Because... If I had done this review 45 minutes ago, it probably would have gotten a less rating than it would now. I'm still going to give this a 4.5 out of 5. I feel because the fact that you do have to let it open up a bit, the fact that um, even though it is opened up and the flavors are still there, the aromas are still there, it still is relatively light. Um, I know Portugal's famous for being uh, sometimes big, bold flavors. And I don't know. This did this one definitely doesn't disappoint, but it doesn't nail a five out of five. Um, and lately, I've been kind of stingent with giving wines a five out of five. I feel that they only deserve a five out of five if they're at their fullest potential. And you need to drink them now. This one's definitely great to drink now. But I definitely think this one could definitely go at least until the end of next year. Um, probably even into 2019. But probably at least all through this year and all through the end of next year. So this definitely has a couple good more years left to go. Um, all right, well, with that, it's been great, as always, doing these wine reviews for you all. Uh, I've got quite a selection coming up for you all. I'm really, really excited um, for what I have planned um, for the next upcoming weeks, months, years, days, seconds, hours, you name it, I do it. Um, so, once again, I will show you what the bottle looks like. And uh, one last thing. Uh, it doesn't say on here how it was made. Um, but I'm not getting really any oak on here, so I'm almost assuming it's stainless steel. I saw somebody else do a review. And they were pretty sure that it was done stainless steel. Not 100% sure. 
um, but I'm not really getting any oak on here. I am getting a smooth taste. Um, this does definitely smooth out at the very end. It's definitely a fruit forward, so um, starts you off um, with those berries that I was talking about. Maybe even a little bit of tanginess, but before it starts to um, kind of have that spice come up and just kind of really smooth out. And even now as I'm talking, I'm still even getting this long lingering round finish of kind of this plummy spiciness on the tongue. Um, really relatively great wine. Um, like I said, it could go another couple of years. So four to five for this Flor de Crosto 2012 wine from Portugal out of the Douro region. I'm Ryan the Wine Guy, and I will see you next time. Cheers.